In this video, I'm going to give you my review and opinion and also the demonstration on the Sentec Digital Automotive Battery Analyzer sold by Harbor Freight. You can purchase this for about $69.99 normally, or you can catch it on sale for $59.99. I have not seen it any cheaper, and I kind of needed it, so I had to pay the full price. The first thing you want to do is connect your positive terminal first. Now, for some reason you can't tell, or maybe you got a really old battery, usually the positive post is the bigger post. So according to the instructions, positive first, negative second. Now, in order for this to work, your battery has to have some charge to it. If it's totally dead, uh, the analyzer will not work at all. You also need to know the cold crank amps of your battery. Say your sticker is missing, uh, fell off, or you can't read it, it's not going to work as well. You need to know cold crank amps, and you need to have some charge in the battery. Once your clamps are connected, you're going to hit the power button. And it's going to run through a test sequence of 1 through 9. And it's going to start back over and continuous uh, run through that sequence of 1 through 9 until you hit OK. Don't wait for it to beep or go into a test mode. It's just going to keep doing that until you hit OK. Hit OK. Well, the first thing you need to do is enter in your cold crank amps. This battery is 685. So I'm just going to hit up. Now here's where I do not recommend this product. This thing is brand new. The down button does not work. Only the up button. So if I go over, the only way to start this over again is disconnect everything and start over. The, the down button does not work in the select mode, doesn't work in cold crank amp mode, nothing. Needless to say, this is going to be going back to Harbor Freight for a refund. So I'll scroll over to the second, go up to number eight, scroll over to the third, 685 cold crank amps, hit OK. Now it's going to do its test and it's going to beep and it's going to continuously beep until you hit the OK button. So don't wait for it to uh, say anything else uh, once it starts beeping, hit OK. And it's going to give you the results of your battery. So this battery is 12.81 volts and 3.85 milliohms. Now your milliohms should be somewhere between about 9 and 13. Uh, it can go up to 20, but the higher the number, uh, the worse the battery condition is. If it's up to about 20, it's still going to last you a little while, uh, but under 13, uh, somewhere between 9 and 13 is going to be the best uh, for a battery. This battery is fairly new, so I expected it to test pretty well. Uh, also at the top, you can see a bar. That just shows the um, charge percentage. And if you can see right there, it actually says good. Uh, if the battery is bad, it says NG. It doesn't say no good, it just has an abbreviation. So... If you hit select once, the top tells you the cold crank amps you entered, 685. And this battery actually tested at 688 cold crank amps. So those are about the only two settings you can check um, for the battery analyzer. And once again, like I said, uh, I'm not gonna recommend this, being that it's new. Yeah, sure, maybe you know, it's one out of 10,000 that doesn't work, I highly doubt it. Uh, I did purchase this because I figured it's half the cost of a good quality one and kind of learned my lesson that, uh, like I said, this down button is totally shot. Uh, I haven't even taken the cover off the screen or anything. So this will be going back. Um, unfortunately, I can't recommend this product and we'll go from there. Now, this is the box that it comes in. So if you're at Harbor Freight and you are going to buy it, um, I believe they have maybe two or three of them. This might be the only digital one, though. That's what the box looks like. It does come with um, a nice instruction packet. It's pretty uh, clear, pretty concise. Um, it has a couple diagrams in there and um, actually a, a pretty good instruction manual for something from Harbor Freight. That concludes my uh, review and opinion on this battery analyzer. 
And if you guys want to like, dislike, uh, subscribe if you want to. I appreciate it. And thanks for watching.